Pylea, Peperomioides. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel uh, today's a little different I'm not doing hair I'm doing plants um, so I'm gonna let you know how I fell in love with plants and became the plant mom of the century no I'm just kidding and uh, a little bit of plant care and then show you all my plants like you know who's who and what's what and what do they all require 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 <laughs> what do they all require so stay tuned it's gonna be fun so this here this is big bertha yes i named my plant big bertha for obvious reasons right and i have really big hands i'm not gonna turn this all the way because that's stupid <laughs> um but come on like really anyway so um she i just checked her soil it's not really dried out yet she but she's got lots of perlite in there lots of different stuff going on she sees very well aerated so i barely have to be careful but i do i have lost one of these leaves already so she only had four leaves when i got her this being one this and i think this guy back here um, maybe this one, one, two, three, four. Maybe this one. Everything else is new. Um, so she's doing well. I lost one leaf. It yellowed and then it just, I cut it off. But it got all the way yellow. So it acted like this one first and it got very limp. I thought it was maybe water. I'm starting to think maybe she could use a tad bit of water and I don't do much. Like a whoop, quickie and then I'll notice like, if, cause this one's not, this one has been doing this for weeks. So, but if these perk up, then see it's kind of curling. So curling on the, this is another elephant ear, blase blase. It's called a something else. I did say it. Alocasia something. There's a few types of alocasias. This is one of them. It's big. <laughs> it's the big ass alocasia. Um, but when it curls up like this, it's asking for something. Whether it be fertilizer, light, not light, too hot, there's a blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. This, surprisingly, is a caladium. And I say surprisingly, I'll tell you why in a minute. So she's beautiful. Obviously, I fell in love with this coloring. Um, we have a brand new baby coming in there. Um, and another one down here. So I believe it's going to grow a whole nother this over there. Um, but she's doing well. I like the type of soil that she is in, the texture of it. So I haven't repotted her yet. I just keep her together. Um, but as soon, when I do repot her, I will be putting her in the same type of shit because that's what she likes. Um, but she's dope. But she's a caladium bicolor. Ew. So the leaf fig, um, really? Ficus lorata. Uh, oh, so this. That is not for plants. This is a ZZ plant. Oh boy. She is heavy for that show. I actually haven't paid her any attention lately, honestly, because they don't require attention. Like if you are a plant killer or a new plant mother, same difference, <laughs> um, get a ZZ plant. Like finally it's dry. Like I can water it. So. But I just love them because they're so strong and green and vibrant and yeah. So this is one of my favorite plants. This is about to look crazy in my house. Um, so I have a couple of those. Yay! <laughs> this wow. All right, I need to be ashamed of myself. So this plant needs soil and watering and attention. Obviously, it's very high up, so I don't go up there very often. Um, but And it has lots and lots and lots of, I believe that's pumice in there. But it's doing so well. So this is what I say when I'm like, yo, and this is a smaller kind of dragon tree. And if I'm wrong, please tell me. 
but I'm just gonna go with they look similar. The thing said they were dragon trees. So yeah, I thought it was a bamboo before, but I don't think it is. Anyway, um, dragon tree. Uh, beautiful and doing her thing. Like keeps growing and here it's shooting out a whole new, so we're gonna have a new this, which wasn't there when I first got it, happening there. So I'm not moving her. When stuff is happy, um, I let it be happy. I might, because she's like goose in here, put some soil on there, but I won't change her until she grows out of this and becomes like a whole root man. Until then, don't mess with nothing if it ain't broke. She ain't broke. Where did she go? Oh, up there. I'm gonna leave it down so I'll remember to add the soil. So here, um, this was my first I believe is my it was my first successful no I think it was my first this was my first propagation propagation aka put it in something else and make it grow a new plant some people you can soil propagate you can water propagate there's probably um, other things to do that I don't know yet <laughs> this is a water propagation of the golden neon pothos golden neon pothos no definitely just the golden pothos um, anywho, this is the one that my grandmother used to do, and this is what she would do. She would get, it wasn't a creation jar, but <laughs> it was a jar, and she would give us all little pieces of plants that you see. Has aerial roots kicking out, and has started rooting down in there, and has grown quite a bit. When I first put it in here, it was a cutting from the other plant, so this was gone. None of this was there. So this cute little situation it's doing, it was cool, because it grew out the bottle and then down, so love her this bamboo this is a bamboo which still might be some sort of dragon tree i don't know this was on my station at the salon um so i guess i did have another plant but it was a little bitty it was a little bitty thing so i brought it home i just put it in rocks so basically it lives in water um and it loves it so it's slow so i'm gonna dump this water out and refill it and that's all she does and she likes it. She doesn't complain about much. This one, I couldn't help the leaves. Like, obviously, as you can see, I'm not running low on plants. So it's not like out of necessity that I go plant shopping. Um, couldn't leave it. Fell in love with the pink stems, for one. Um, so this one and the one that's in my room. <laughs> Uh, have pink stems. So this has to go. So I'm going to cut it off. Uh, am I going to take it right now? No. I'm going to have to cut it. So it's beautiful. This is another Caladium bicolor. Yeah. Um, that's Thumber. Um, yeah. So it has a new baby there. New baby. Dead baby. This one is new. So I've got two new ones growing and two new ones that I've shot out. So she's all good. Soil is fine. She could probably do it a little while. So maybe. Um, and and then here, oh, I have two more. This is the last of the plants in here, actually. So another Dracenia, Dracenia, Dracenia. Anyway, the one like I have over there. This is a baby one. Cute cover pot. We gotta love a cute cover pot. And they're twins. Wait, where's your face? I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> so this one has not ever been doing as well as this one. Got them at the same time, got them from the same place, do the same thing to them both, and look. So this one has an attitude. <laughs> this one doesn't. Um, yeah, and that is kinda it for the living room. So, well, oh, one second. <laughs> okay actually it for the living room is um another mother's mother-in-law tongue or sansaberry or snake plant or whichever you want to call it who's got um a new baby these like to dry out but she's pretty dry so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and water her um later and that's now that's it for the living room all right, so welcome to my room. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, ugh, this is another ZZ plant, like the one in there. Again, I love this 
potting mix. It is so aerated, I can just see. And they're thriving. So I'm going to have to put more pumice and perlite and bark in my stuff. Anywho, she's glossy all the time. Like she needs wiping down the less. She's like born glossy, um, but I still wipe her down. Um, yeah, so another ZZ plant. That has a whole technical name, Zasa of something, something, Zips of something, something. They both start with Z's. Now, this story is not so great. <laughs> so this was my, my neon pothos. I have another one in there, if you remember. This one was big and bushy like the other ones. And I killed it. I didn't kill it just yet. Like, it's not dead, dead. I'm actually going to try and salvage what is, well, you see how that where is going. She doesn't like this in here. It's not deep enough. This is not going to work. I might, I don't know. I'm going to try to cut between the nodes and, like, put it in a different container. This one is not working. She might just be done. And that happens. I've had to just go. See this? not good the... so but these are still very strong so i might empty the... this was probably too wet and too big so she left she... she's like currently leaving see so i don't know but she's beautiful and i will make this plant beautiful so when i if i'm gonna cut off what is thriving you cut between i said the video I'll show you how to do it. I'm gonna put her in some, put a few of them in some water and grow some more of these. Cause I looked and looked and looked for these neon photos. So that's why I luckily I still have that one in there. Um, this is another watermelon peperomia. She's fine. I just actually had to repot her because the nursery pot was broken. And so it was like, it wasn't sturdy. Um, but other than that, she's fine. Um, this Calathea, I repotted. She did not like her other home. She came in and she was acting out from jump. She's gorgeous. She's more velvety than the other ones. I forgot what it's called. Calathea Maranta. Or is the other one Maranta? I don't know. But it's beautiful. Hot pink and neon green. Like, how can you not get this plant? And of course, it's got a new baby. And this one's currently unfurling right now. So, she likes me, and she definitely likes it better in my room. So, I just turn her. So, at night, of course, she'll pray. And then in the morning, she unprays. I don't know why they don't pray during the day. No, I'm just <laughs> um, Yeah, so I just rotate her. Because she face when, when your plants are facing the sun, or the sun gets them, they will lean, literally, like, get up and lean towards the uh, sun. I think it's awesome. Um, that to let you know they're so alive. Um, this guy here is another guy. It is a snake plant. No, it's not. It's a spider plant. Um, it's funny acting, but it's doing okay. Like, it's supposed to be curly. This, I thought it was like making an ugly flower. This little situation right here, I had no idea that it, how it grows. So I looked it up and I see that it grows in like big, bushels of spider plants so i was gonna cut it off i accidentally broke the other one off there was two i broke it and it didn't propagate well so i just have one um she's dry <laughs> did i say it was a boy it <laughs> it's <laughs> anyway it's dry um so i'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it up here because it's got to get water, but I can't wait until hopefully I'm able to create the big balls of spider plants. We'll see. Um, maybe this is the Calathea Maranta. One of the asses is called Maranta. <laughs> Why don't I know? This is the this one I've had for a while. All of this is new. New, new, no, not new. New. Anyway, there's a few that are new. There's one that is currently growing. Um, love the pattern of the leaves just like every single plant that I have it's all about the leaves for me or the stems wait I'm missing somebody I'm gonna go find her um, 
but I have a thing for Calatheas. I have a few. A few, but, but yeah, I got a few. So she needs a little bit of TLC. She's a bit dry. But real talk, let these Calatheas dry out. Yeah, I drowned one like her. And <laughs> in the beginning of, of this journey, she had a cousin, a very small one, and RIP. RIP. So, yeah. But this one's doing great. She's growing. And she, she just needs some water now. Um, this here is yet another prayer plant. Obviously very di different. So like the Tromanti Trial Star that's in the living room. This is another Stromanthi. I thought it was called a Sinanthi, but I looked it up and it said Stromanthi. If y'all know, tell me. Um, new baby, new baby, new baby, new baby. Like she's loving her, she's living her best life. She gives off all kinds of new babies all the time. She loves it in my room over there. Um, and uh, she prays at night as well. And she's more, you know, I could do that to her. She won't be mad. Some of them be like, uh-uh, and break off. <laughs> but not her. Um, so, yes, and that is it for my room. I have a couple of plants in my bathroom. And the only reason I will even show it to you is because something cool happened to one of them. And then that's going to be it for this. And I'm going to get to caring for my damn plants. I had to have a string of something. So... I got a string of fish hooks. I didn't know what it was. When I, I got two. There's one over there too by the hammer. It, we don't like each other. We don't like each other. Um, it was really beautiful before it wasn't. <laughs> and, and I don't know. I've watered it. I've not watered it. I fertilized it. I've not fertilized it. I have, yeah. This is all that's left of the nice part of it. Oh, well, except for that one that just fell on the floor. So it has a nerve to be growing, the nerve, right? So I could technically take these off and I can do, I would probably do soil propagate, propagate, I don't know. Someone tell me propagation, propagation, or tell me it doesn't even matter. And it's growing a whole new baby here. This is what, see, okay, real talk. This is what screws me up about plants because look at it. It's ugly. It's, it's, I know it's not ugly. It's challenged. It's, ch <laughs> it's challenged it, because these were beautiful. These were like all beautiful fish hooks all the way down, right? And then they just start crisping up and breaking off, and I don't know why. But now it's showing me new life, and when something shows me new life, now I can't give up on it. So now I was about to put this baby on death row, and I'm gonna y'all will know what death row is in a second. Damn. Now I can't because it's it's not dying. Well, it's half dying. So go figure. What does that mean? I don't know. But now I gotta keep the damn string of fish hooks. Oh, that one is putting out new life. I'm sorry, I'll come over there. Get out of town. So this is the other one. Oh, there's a hole in this pot. Which means it's too dry. But there's tons of new life happening. All right, guys. So, rewind. I am not going to be mad at my fish hook life. I'm going to fix them. I'm going to fix them. So, these are them. They almost they almost legit just got death rowed. And, but they got a kind of new life trying to live. So, I have to figure it out. Look, when you become a plant parent, you cannot just decide. <laughs> well, I know this bite from experience. You can't just decide it's over. You have to at least try. So, I will try. I'm going to leave them out so I can try. I don't even know. I'm going to look it up first because I don't know how to make this live. But it wants to because it's fucking got new life. OMG. Well, cheers to new life. <laughs> and dead plants or not so this is not exciting at all i wanted plants in my bathroom these are actually fake don't come for me don't judge me these were what i had to look at before i became a plant mom so 
to them. They won't be here long. But I know that I could have a snake plant or a ZZ plant for sure in my bathroom. One, it gets humid enough and the, the fake light is on just enough. Like I said, these plants do not require much. But so these are very common. They're not that special unless you're their mother. This one is so special because it has a whole nother breed of plant in it. I don't know why. I bought it like this, but I didn't pay attention to it until it started to grow. And I'm like, so this is, these are both new. So this is new growth. This is new growth. This is what was here when I got it. Plus, oh, this is new growth as well. And it's about to have another baby on the side. But this, this one here is not, if it's a whole nother damn plant. It's the same sense, it's, a, it, it's still a sense of area, but it's not this, this breed. So either one of the seeds of this, or seeds, no, it's not fruit. I don't know how this got in here. Did they do it on purpose? I don't know, but it's cool because it has two different kind of plants in one. So that's why I even care about those. Plus I needed some green in my bathroom and that won't die and doesn't require all my attention, okay? So death row and we're out. And welcome to death row. Uh, so, <laughs> so this is not so much. This is my daughter's situation right here. Um, and these are all of my pots that I will either re that I will reuse or I'll mix in or whatever. This is gonna get thrown out. I don't know what she was doing with that. My daughter is she. Um, some potting soil, some Epsom salt, something to keep the gnats away. Um, I don't like that to stay open. So, what I have out here, so come to find out, I can't hang plants. Plants, hanging plants, and I haven't become the best of friends just yet. But, you know, keep hope alive. So, I bought this fern, right? Because ferns are easy, they say. Just hang it up, they say. Everybody has a fern, they say. This is what my fern said. My, God. My fern said, <laughs> your mama. So, <laughs> this is what this one's gonna be called, your mama. Um, yeah, and so I don't, my, my daughter won't let me ditch the plants, is why she's still hanging here. And because I don't have to look at her every day, she can just live there. This other plant that was gorgeous. When I say gorgeous, I mean gorgeous when I got her. All this billowy, unique um, stuff. See what's happening? This was happening all over my floor. So this plant was doing this all over the floor from the ceiling. I've tried to do everything I know to do to, to fix it. and. It doesn't want to be, it doesn't want to be great. Um, yeah. It, it, when I say it was beautiful, you guys look up lipstick plant and see what this one used to look like. So, I don't know why it's still here. Like I said, my daughter is really funny with me throwing up way stuff. But it was so cute and curly. They're so cute. Until they're not. And they're not. Alright, so these plants... This is, I have an issue for this because I, these are my favorite leaves I've ever had seen in my life. And this was going to be my go-to plant, right? This is a caladium. And it's still shooting out babies. So it's, maybe this one's like in purgatory. Maybe this one's not full of death row. Because, but it can't come inside because it looks ugly. <laughs> so... She, they look at three and they live outside now but look at how unique the leaves are and they feel see new baby and these are new babies in here they feel like like tissue paper there's just got this weird texture beautiful love 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 them and they're expensive <laughs> um but for no reason at all they start dangling like things that dangle especially when you don't want them to um so, I don't like to look at this. It wasn't going with the rest of my motif. Um, so I have that one. I have this one. I do, I ignore them now. So I haven't do anything to any of them. 
and yet and still, they still are shooting out new babies. And this one was so cute with the little pink dots. But her ass lives out here because you're not gonna act like that. And now they're dry right now. I haven't paid them attention. It's white and green and beautiful and perfect. And these patterns are all different and unique. But again, yeah, that's ugly. That's ugly. Um, and I, I don't know how to do that. I have a, I had another, I had an oxtail, something, oxtail is for something, something. I don't have it anymore because it has like these drunk stems. I can't do drunk stems. So the caladiums, I don't, I've seen people's pictures and, and I try. I clipped them off and then only kept the standing ones. And then like three days later, the other ones were gone. So I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't want to know how to do this one. Um, this was another... <laughs> This is the nothing. This is actually death row. They're still in purgatory. Um, this was a croton. The one with the really unique shaped leaves and the tricolor kind of rasta red and green and yellow. It was beautiful. I overwatered it. Oh, this was another one of the paper towel tragedies. And so actually this one, I'm... Um, I'm kind of hoping it does what my other tree did a couple of years ago and just rebirths. Uh, so I cut all of it back. Like it was all just dying. So that was this. Huh. So not everything lives. But look at that. That's one, two, three, four, five out of, well, six. Out of 60 something? I don't know. It used to be 60 something. I don't know how really. We, I, don't, I count the baby, so maybe that's why. But. I come out here and I dig in the dirt. So I'll be showing, actually I've repotted my Monstera. Maybe I'll show you, maybe I'll save it. Who knows, we'll see, um, yeah. So I came back in and realized that I was, remember I was looking for the other pink stem plant? It was this plant. This plant did not like me. It doesn't like this house. I don't know if it likes indoors. It's very tropical. Um, I forgot the name of it and now it's too late to even take a picture on my app and find out what this was maybe not um, so I'm definitely putting her outside she doesn't live here anymore she was beautiful she didn't even last like a week um, so I, I don't know so she's going outside so uh, I don't even know how I forgot this daggone plant so this is uh, an alocasia poly aka african mask elephant ear elephant ear um it is stunning i first of all when i first got it it was like this high um and it had a, a few four or five things on the leaves going on this <laughs> this is the newer the newest one um and i love it. it's almost I don't have a favorite, so everybody chill out. Alocasia Polly. Love this plant. I can't believe, boo. I almost left you out the mix. And she loves it there. She thrives there. She lives there. She blocks the TV. I don't care. That's how much we love her. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me on my first plant tour. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Comment on what you liked, didn't like, how your experiences are going as a plant mom or dad or newbie or oldie. If you're an oldie, please tell me what I'm doing. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep figuring it out. And join me for my next one. My next video will be on caring for all of these plants and then moving with all of these plants. So, um, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thump, you want to say thank you? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Tell them thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. He's not going to say Thank you for watching.